had run, so we ended up not getting a chance to go out to the uh, bus, but we still wanted to get a video up, so we thought we would do the, um, the look at the appliances that we got, um, being the fridge and the washing machine. Um, so this is the fridge here, it's an Evercool uh, DC 175 litre, which is a two-way compressor fridge. Uh, we ended up going a two-way instead of a three-way, which we were initially looking at because a lot of people online said that with the three-ways, they go through a lot of gas, so you run them on 12 volt a lot, and they're not as efficient on 12 volt as a pure 12 volt fridge. Um, they also need to be perfectly flat, and there's a couple other things you have to sort of worry about, so this just seemed easier and more efficient. Uh, this fridge also comes in a 9 litre and a 210. Uh, the 175 is pretty much a perfect size for us. Uh, it's about 1.3 meters tall and then 60 centimeters deep and wide, which is about how deep we're going to have our kitchen and counters and stuff anyway. Um, so it worked out perfectly. Uh, it has a, a lock hatch, um, it's freezer, and that's the fridge. Um, it's actually also cheaper than a three-way as well for about the equivalent size. It's you know about five hundred dollars more expensive, so saving that worked out well. Um, we'll go show you the washing machine. Okay, so this is the washing machine we decided to buy. Um, it's a Chemic three kilo top loader washing machine. Um, we decided to purchase this one for a number of reasons: the price, the size, the weight. Um, we decided to test it out here in our own. A uh, little laundry first, just so that when we get to the bus, we know that it's going to work for us, we know that it's not going to leak. We did have a few problems when we first set it up where it was leaking, but we just hadn't attached it correctly. So it's around 70 centimeters tall, um, it weighs around 18 kilos. We chose a top loader over a front loader because the front loader generally weighs more, and the ones we looked at were maybe only two, two and a half kilos. This one was also a little bit bigger. Um, it does have six functions. Also, with this one as well, it is primarily cold water, but it does have a hot water option. Um, it doesn't use hot water, it heats the water. So obviously it's a lot higher with energy consumption, but it heats the water. Um, it's also got an option as well where you can leave the water in it between loads. So you do your wash, leave the water, put more clothes in, and that way it's sort of reusing the water. So you can maybe do that for a load or two, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, on a low load, it uses around 20 litres of water, and on a high load, it's about 26. It's got a cool little LED light, nice little stainless tub. So, yeah, holds about, I say, maybe eight pieces of clothing on average, or two large towels, or one sheet and a couple pillowcases, something like that, which um, for us is typically enough. So, yeah. So Alright, so another thing that I forgot to mention with the washing machine as well is the reason we decided to get one. A lot of people don't um, get washing machines for their buses or campers or whatever. We decided for us because we were going to be living in our bus, it was going to be our home, that it was going to be a lot more convenient. Um, we also figured as well that the amount of money we would spend, you know, at laundromats or whatever, would add up. So for us this was going to be, I guess, just more convenient. That's about it. So that's the uh, fridge and washing machine. Uh, we'll sort of do this and take you guys through everything we buy and tell you sort of why we chose to buy it. Um, three or four months after we actually start living in the bus, we'll do another video and let you know if they sort of lived up to expectations, any problems we had or anything we do differently. Uh, if you found this useful, please subscribe and like and thank you. Thank you.